time for a good old fashioned sit in. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> I lied. It's never good enough. Now that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Evie's Odd School. And today, as per usual, we are getting ultra crafty, ultra do it yourself -y, which are very good things in my book because it's not payday yet. So I'm a broke bitch, and what am I gonna do? So. I'm going to go to my favorite place on Nerd, the dollar store, and see what I can find for just a buck. <laughs> Welcome back to the lovely space I spent a hundred thousand dollars on. <laughs> I just got back from the dollar store. I spent a bill there too. And now I am ready to make something out of nothing. I found these old latex gloves. And I know Mayhem made quite a splash on her season. Getting the glove message out, always wear a glove. But I love them too. And I feel like we can manipulate their shapes and create a full-on club kid fantasy. <laughs> I also have just like some really basic, basic wear. Like look at this skirt. Does this skirt look like drag to you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the end of this project, she is going to be the draggiest drag skirt you ever done seen. I like the gloves. I like how they look when they're hanging. I love all of that, but I want them to have like a clownier, more otherworldly effect and I think I'm going to blow them up like little hand balloons. <laughs> this is probably a bad day to wear lip gloss, but. See, you're gonna get my mark on every single glove. <laughs> Whenever I go into the dollar store, I always just get drawn, first of all, to the craft section because it's my favorite section in any store. Seeing full packs of Elmer's glue for a dollar always just gives me joy. <laughs> but I also like it because that's where they have all these like crazy sparkly things that are like obviously meant for crafting and there's nothing wrong with using something for its intended purposes. It's usually like right next to the party section where they have streamers and like bags and weird like glitter paper. And that's where I get like my whole life. <laughs> 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 that one had a hole in her. I feel robbed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is taking way too long. Can one of you guys help me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Anybody need a hand? <laughs> oh, even more perfect. These should all come in handy. <laughs> Just like everything else in life, you have to start from the bottom and then get here. <laughs> so, I'm going to start around the bottom of the skirt and just attach some of the bigger balloons at the bottom so that there's a lot of shape there and then I want it to get smaller as it comes up to my hips. So I'm gonna take a handy dandy safety pin. Actually, I'm just gonna take a lot of safety pins. I'm, I'm gonna take all the safety pins. And this is like one of those raw crafts where you're gonna see all the edges. I've done this before where I've like taken the time to pin it all on the inside, but it literally took me so many days and I stabbed my fingers so many times and popped so many balloons. So I'm just going to pin them on the outside just through this extra little balloon skin, this four up here that we made. <laughs> and I'm actually not even gonna put them ridiculously close together because it's white and these are white. I don't care if some of the fabric is visible since it's more about the shape and movement. <laughs> we look like a Hobby Lobby that just like exploded. <laughs> and then now I'm going to move up and do another layer above these. 
in between their little empty spaces because that'll kind of keep the balloons taut and also cover more of this fabric. So I'm gonna move up like, like that much. Oh, there's this one time I tried to make a look out of broken light bulbs. So we went to like the butch section and grabbed a bunch of broken light bulbs, but the glass that light bulbs are uh, made out of, it's not like regular glass, it's like deadly glass. Me and all of my roommates were like cut up for weeks, I'm pretty sure. You learn, you learn there are some things that are like really good for crafting, like not broken glass, and some things that are bad for crafting, like broken glass. Although the first outfit I really fell in love with making, I made out of shards of this mirror that I broke during sex. So I felt like it was like cursed in a good way. It was like good cursed. It was seven years of awesome luck. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> you can already see how it's like starting to turn from just being a skirt into this weird amorphous like monster blob. And if that's not my drag, I don't know what is. Now that I've won Drag Race, there is a sort of pressure to elevate myself. And I intend on doing that, but I also don't ever want to lose the hands-on feel that all of my drag had. If it looks like it could come off of a rack, even if it's a really cool designer, I don't really want to wear it because I enjoy knowing that, more specifically me, but knowing that somebody put some artistry into something and took risks, tried something crazier with a material that they've never worked with. Now this time is the time for me to kind of uh, look out into the wider world and see exactly what I can do with with more resources available without just buying fancy evening wear. <laughs> Ooh, I just got a flashback to probably the worst material I've ever worked with. I um, covered a gown in cigarette butts once. Oh that I collected at after parties from her house. It was like two after parties I collected the cigarette butts from and it covered a whole gown, which was lovely and smells amazing. I actually still have that gown and it is in a bag inside another bag in the deepest nether region of my closet. Don't smoke, kids. Or if you do, make it fashion. <laughs> Righty, let's see if... That completes the fantasy. Yeah, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But there's only one way to find out. <laughs> oh, my hands are on the ground. <laughs> this is actually a little bit difficult to get into. I don't want to pop anything. <laughs> I don't think you children could handle it. <laughs> I think I'm also going to pin some breasts. Okay, strip down. <laughs> oh yeah. And then I'm gonna take my balloons and then I'm going to pin them in. That's like about even. And if not, they're just cousins. I need a third. Yes! I shall call them Ud, Ud, and Uddy. And here's my hands-on look. <laughs> Very every cow in the pasture. <laughs> I just would like to think that I've got a firm grasp on drag now. <laughs> I think that's that's quite a look. If I were performing in a club, you know, I'd probably finish the bath. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really happy with this. I cannot keep my hands to myself. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me here at Evie's Odd School. I'll see you later. Wave goodbye. <laughs> High five. <laughs>